This time on Film Ranker, we are looking at the top 10 baseball films. No sport lends itself to film better than the game of baseball. The one-on-one battles, the weird superstitions, the ebbs and flows, the possibility of one moment changing a game. It is a Hollywood treasure trove. The trouble is cutting this list down to only 10 especially when you've got close but no cigar films like The Rookie, Bang the Drum Slowly, and Eight Men Out, some great bios like 61, 42, and Cobb, guilty pleasures like Little Big League and Mr. Baseball, and even really guilty pleasures like Bench Warmers and Summer Catch. But after some tough cuts, here they are, the top 10 baseball films. Number 10, The Sandlot. If we're being honest, we all know that this is not actually a great film. The acting is iffy, the vignettes only sometimes work, and the narrative is a bit much, but none of us care. If The Sandlot is on on a lazy Sunday afternoon, I am going to watch it, and I'm going to say the dumb lines, and I'm going to laugh at things I know I shouldn't, and it will be a whole bunch of fun. Number nine. Everybody Wants Some. This is less a film about baseball than a film around baseball. Linklater's slightly autobiographical story about the team bonding that happens just before the season is very Richard Linklater. It sadly flew under the radar, but if you've ever been on a team, it's probably a movie for you. It feels like a slightly grown-up companion piece to Dazed and Confused, which is pretty high praise. Number 8. The Bad News Bears. There is no way that this movie could have been made today. It's a kid's film filled to the brim with swearing, smoking, and drinking, but thank goodness for the 1970s. It is pretty cool to see young Tatum O'Neill and uh, Jackie Earl Haley, and I guess a young version of Walter Matthau, although he was kind of born looking 57 years old. The final game is really the highlight of this movie, and it's probably the best example of how parents screw up minor league sports that has ever been captured on film. Number 7, Pride of the Yankees. The all-time classic had 11 Oscar nominations, even though it only took home one. The story of Lou Gehrig, perhaps the most loved player in the history of the game, is a terrific tearjerker, and a fascinating look at one of the all-time great teams, although the romance angle is a way bigger part of this movie than you probably remember. It is cool seeing Babe Ruth play himself, and obviously Gary Cooper puts in an all-time great performance. Uh, This movie deserves to be on every list, if only for the luckiest man in the world speech alone. Number 6, A League of Their Own. This is the highest grossing baseball film of all time. And it's a pretty great film, although it's not without its flaws. The last 15 minutes seem to drag on forever, and Dottie's arc can be a little bit frustrating, but Penny Marshall does a heck of a job telling a story that isn't often told. With all the great sports tropes of the washed-out ex-star, the natural talent who doesn't really have the heart, and the player that is pure heart but has to work for everything, this movie does a great job of capturing baseball and capturing life on the road. Number 5, The Natural. Natural. At its heart, The Natural is about everything that is beautiful about baseball versus everything that isn't. It's a thumb to the eye to the terrible owners and gamblers and hangers-on. It's the purity of Lou Gehrig versus the greed of A-Rod. It's not a perfect film. There are some big gaps and it gets pretty lumpy in the middle, but Newman is understated genius and the great moments sure do stick with you. Number four, Major League. If you bring up baseball movies to the average person, this is probably the first movie that comes up. That makes sense because it is the funniest and maybe the most approachable, and it has a great all-star cast. Yes, it's silly, but it also does a great job of making us care about everyone on the team. We already care about them in spring training, but we really care about them by that final game. Number three, Moneyball. 
This is a different kind of baseball movie. It takes us mostly off the field and into the front office. It's partly about the old versus new and the revolution and how teams are run, but it's also a classic underdog story and one that's based in statistics, which is as much part of baseball as bats and balls. And the whole movie is fascinating. The movie really relies on its fantastic screenplay written by Aaron Sorkin uh, with his classic banter and some great performances by Brad Pitt, Jonah Hill, and especially Philip Seymour Hoffman. Number two, Field of Dreams. This is more a movie about fathers and sons and recapturing that childlike delight of baseball than it is about literally playing baseball. It captures the joy of playing and the wonder that our idols could inspire and that love of just being on the field. A big part of the reason we love baseball isn't the game we're watching, but memories of the games we watched and played and the people who played them. It's partly about recapturing childhood and partly return to a perfect time that maybe never existed. And this movie captures all of that perfectly. Even without much baseball, it captures the heart of the game better than almost any other movie. Number one, Bull Durham. Bull Durham is the best film ever made about the religion of baseball. The locker room, the superstitions, the unwritten rules of the field. Like Yogi Berra said, 90% of baseball is mental and the other half is physical. And the film does a fantastic job of getting inside the players' heads in those key moments. Narratively, this movie's a masterpiece. Handling half a dozen arcs without dropping any genre-wise, it's a perfect marriage of comedy and drama, often nailing both at once, but where it really shines is its treatment of the game itself. Bull Durham loves baseball, and it is the perfect baseball movie. And that wraps up another top 10. Thanks so much for listening. I hope you're a bit inspired to go grab a glove and throw a ball, or better yet, sit on a couch and watch other folks do it. Please subscribe, like, talk about, write songs about whatever you want to do with this channel. There is loads more content, so check that out too. See you next time.